ladies and gentlemen, another video brought to you by Rev today, another XCAM video and how to use uh, export uh, looking around XCAM. So following on from the previous video it shows you how to install XCAM and the, again the start, the start of XCAM. So we're back into armor, we're back, we have same as I left off in the video, we have the perimeters i.e. at XCAM and the at NADB wherever that one's gone is there. So let's go to editor, 2D editor, so to pick on the map which you, you, you're working on, for me I'm working on a grassland map so select this. What you want to do before you do anything, because like I said we are going to look into exporting mission SQMs in this video, so first of all we need to, if you haven't already, you, if you've already got a project saved in the 2D editor with that map then don't worry, but we're going to start as if we haven't. So put down a unit player and let's save this as what test test okay so you've got to have two basically I've already got another one which has actually got my mission in so if I go to load and go to test a bit confusing yet so this is what I've been working on this is all XCAM laid uh, placed objects so we've got the ini like I showed on the last video we have the XCAM init game logic added as well from the modules so last video if you haven't if you haven't got this far and we've got our player unit down so we can now go into XCAM I'm going to look at the movements from what I can remember we're going to place a few things just so it comes back to me and then I'm going to show you how to save the mission as a mission SQM and then later open it up in a in the editor indeed so let's do this close all and let's go to start XCAM using your scroll mouse Okay, before you do anything you've got to click object up here, OBJ, and if it's the first time that you've used XCAM you'll probably have a little box open up uh, to get rid of them, you click these three up here. Right, as you can see here's all my objects, but before I can do anything I have to click new project, call that new project, whatever you want, for mine I'm already working on a project, it must be five there, so I'm just going to put this test, okay. So now we can get started. So you can use your W, S, A and D and your scroll mouse to maneuver around for a start or you can scroll your mouse, use your mouse sorry, and your left click holding down to move around. Ooh, let me just have to sink in first. And your right click obviously for the direction. Okay, right, so let's, what we're going to do, just for a bit of a, a test, what should we place? Let's play. Let's just add a building. So, if I wanted to add a couple of buildings here and a path, just for testing purposes, here's all your objects. You're gonna have to scroll through to find what you need. To be fair, um, for me, I'm just gonna place a couple of any any buildings. Let's go to structures, commercial, and let's get a just any shop, do like that. So, as you can see, if I wanted to rotate it, hold down shift, left shift and use your scroll mouse or you could for that better find a little detail you can hold down the left click but for now I'm just going to quickly use my mouse okay but for the finer detail hold down the left click and, and obviously as, as well as holding down shift and move it to where you want it you will that will come in handy okay right to place this you can press insert on your key keyboard or if you want to copy it and put the exact same object next to it, or like for this, for example. But if I wanted to change the direction, you press Q, and as you can see, it's changing the direction for me. Q, do, do, and that's C. Okay. So just click up, press. If you're doing something like this, and do, 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 let's go, and you want to get off it, you don't want that. Just press spacebar, and it'll delete it. Or you could go. So here's all your objects down here. So another little tip, let's get a wall. You can click any object that's already in your mod pack. Uh, double click it, wait, it's, sometimes it's a pain in the arse but you've got to wait till it gets to red and then double click and then you will have that object. So let's place this wall by just left clicking. Now to get on that wall you've got to double click it. Another tip here, SLO, make sure you click the slope and that will make sure your whatever I'm we don't want to go that direction. Whatever I'm placing will be the same height. Okay, so you don't want like 
let's take it off it'll just be you'll see differences sometimes depending on the terrain luckily this terrain's flat so you don't really have to worry about that well it is very handy it's slope okay and the direction Q okay okay what else have we got what else have we got the height how to change the height of an object uh, let's get one of these trees so double get onto that that tree which will now be anything you place goes at the bottom of the layers sort of thing here so the height hold down control use your mouse your scroller on your mouse or you can hold down left click and move up and down yeah rotate obviously same as any other object hold down shift we've been through this or you can use your mouse click to get that better precision same as the height uh, hold down control and we can left click on the mouse and push up and down just for that, that precision basically and those you will need it so another thing we can do if I want to place a load of objects but well, I want them at uh, random I don't want them all to look the same because looking the same is artificial so press B Ooh. let's get an object first uh, for example to get off that and to get off it press spacebar let's get a tree tree let's get any tree I'll press B so as you can see I've pressed B so what this means now I can just let I'm not pressing anything I can just left click and place them where I want to place them as many as I want do 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 lovely jubbly oh lovely jubbly the more objects you place the less FPS you're going to have obviously so to keep these press enter they'll all be saved sweet as a naught right to select an area press enter as long as that area is already is in your filters down here now select as so I could copy the whole bunch if I wanted by pressing C as you can see I could do it again C C C C these old forgotten houses in the middle of the woods, see, all the FPS would probably be pretty damn shit down there. See, 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 FPS would definitely be pretty damn shit down there. <laughs> right. So if you wanted to save this project anytime, save project. We've already called it set and save. And to load it, when you next come on, you click object. But every time you start it, basically, you've got to click objects there. Then go load project, and you load it. Okay. So let's delete let's load of crap by right, selecting the area. I'll press spacebar first to get off that. Select the whole area. Delete. Okay. Most things, and I'm saying most, uh, well, well, we'll talk about mods. For instance, you've just added some new mods to your mod packs, uh, but they're not here in your list. To, so, for instance, I had all these buildings, these custom buildings like this new one here and they're not in the mod packs for me to place so what you have to do go to set and you want to go to library settings go to ROL rebuild object library and you'd click load whole library this could take a while depending on your machine and wherever your objects are the map pack is oh sorry map pack the object pack is you just select it and you click rebuild so then when you next come back to your objects they will then be probably at the bottom of the list here and they will be good to, to add good to add down ok so we know rotate, we know the height, we know how to copy we know how to change the direction we know how to use the B to spam where we want, we know how to select oh yes we do we know how to save the project, we know how to load the project we know how to select the area I think we're pretty much nearly you'll just pick it up as you go along man it's all experience I've built a lot of things in XCAM now a lot of a lot of uh, projects um, 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 what else have we got what I'll come to there'll be something I want to end the video and I think oh I forgot to tell them about that uh, but we'll s I'll just have a little look around to see if anything else comes to me um, or should we do do just place a few things in case I have to come use something that's uh, I forgot about. Do do do. 
So I'm just using C here to to, to place them. Do 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 do. Sidewalk, sidewalk. No. I'll do. Oh, the best street ever, man. My skills, the skills. Looks like street out H one Z one. You know what I'm talking about. So yeah, holding down shift for the rotate. Now I think we're pretty much covered. There will probably be a few things here and there that I forgot to mention, but I do apologise. I've tried to remember as much as I can. So we're now to load the library, uh, rotate height. Yeah, new page. So we're now to save the page. Yeah, so basically, it's just the exporting now. How to export? Do 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 do. Do. Oh, look at that town. It's just magnificent. I want to live there. I want to live there, man. Oh, the building. The quality. I have actually got a street like that down here. Well, a bit better than that. A properly placed street. So I hope that helps guys, last thing I'm going to do is show you how to save it uh, as a mission SQM so you can open it up in the, as a mission file. And anything you place here guys is, is placed here with code when it comes to the, when to, the to the 2D editor. So for instance, let me, let's, let's save it. So get, see this load, click load, definition file, create mission file, click OK done so what you need to do now go to your armor directory armor 3 and if you scroll down you can see here here it is mission grassland test copy that go to your documents armor 3 of profiles go to your profile go to your missions and this is why I said you have two missions because obviously this what we have open here is the mission I was working on which was called tests and then we created a test as well okay so we can go into this one now delete the mission SQM which was just a unit that we place down. Oh, geez, I've already got it open on that. Uh, do, 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 do. All right, we're good. So that paste, rename, delete this little bit, delete, OK. As you can see, we've done that now. So if we come off this, and if we go to load, load test, and you will have whatever it was we just placed, which was those little houses and those crappy sidewalks. Okay, you got it. So look, if we went here, there they are. This is a drug bust. So if I wanted to put these over to my other map, select the area, Control C, load your other mission. And it doesn't matter where I put these guys because like I say they are placed by code so I could put them anywhere I could put them there and they will still go there so if we look just for instance go there so the next video guys is going to be well, <laughs> as uh, you can see if there's anything I forgot drop it in the comments and the others will, will learn from it It'll help others, but yeah, as you can see, yep, the the buildings are where we said. So the next video is going to be how you can help with this city, this new map project for a live server. Hope that video videos helped. Remember to like and subscribe, and I will keep the videos coming. Peace out. See us again. Adios, amigos.